All right, guys, it's that time of the year. Got the brand new 2023 Skeeter Boats FXR20N. Everything's hooked up, rigged up by Cajun Outboards, and now it's time to install setup. My whole battery management power system charge, power pole charge, along with Lithium Pros to get this thing going. I like to rig it myself every single year because if there's ever an issue, I know how to dissect it and kind of fix it. So. A little bit about what we run. This is the fourth year in a row I've run this setup, guys. Incredible. This system is exactly what you need to ensure you don't have problems on the water. To start off, 12 volt Lithium Pro. This is the M32215S. This is a big 12 volt. It's the only one you need. 215 amp hours. Plenty of battery to run. Everything that I'm going to be running. Four units, live wells, Garmin live scope, everything. This is the only the, the one battery that you need. Power pole charge system. Most of you are familiar with it. This is a smart charger. It allows you to not only charge all three different types of batteries, but it also allows you to look at the charge. It actually takes charge and it actually charges your trolling motor battery while you're running. Um, you can change priorities on it. You can configure it to, to what battery that you have. It's all you need. And then my 36 volt for my trolling motor, this is a big 36 volt. It's an 85 amp hour. This is the M3265, which is big 36 volt. It's all I need. Two batteries, all I need for the entire season. And this power pole charge system is the reason why I can get away with two because it charges them so efficiently. So we're about to get started. I'm going to walk you guys step by step through the process. Um, of how to install all of these to make sure everything's done right, configured right, and make sure you're taking the necessary steps to make sure you have no issues. So stay tuned, let's start setting up. All right, so we just opened up the charge system here. It's got everything you need, including a quick start guide that kind of walks you through steps and where the mounting holes for the charge is. Um, there's even a little cheat card, which is the most important right here but we're gonna save that. That shows you how to do a 36 volt system or a 24 volt system. Um, also, there's a tag here that says important. Of course, the charge system, you need to make sure you download the app, which there's a QR code for both iPhone or Android um, on the top of it. Go ahead and get the app downloaded. I already have the app, so once it's connected, I'll be able to show you how I just add this system to um, the Sea Monster app. Um, but it's got everything, including mounting screws, and I'm going to have to pre-drill a few holes on that metal plate on the Skeeter FXR20 in order to get this thing mounted. Lots of wires all put on here. Um, I would leave them just like this until we get it actually installed. And I'm going to use the the power plug that's on the charge that on the charge on the four bank charger that's already in the boat that's run up to the front, and actually use that as a as kind of a, a thread in order to thread this power cable through. So we're gonna get this thing mounted up, get my power cord where I need it, and uh, and then we're gonna go from there, and then we'll start actually putting in the batteries and start configuring them and uh, get it loaded up on the app. All right, guys, here's, here's the back of the Skeeter FXR20, kind of how it looks. I've got all the batteries, of course. There was one battery in here that Cajun Outboards put in just to get me get the motor running but now I have my lithium pros in we're going to configure all of this there's a few things we're going to do first first off I'm going to take the inboard charger out of here there's a metal plate down there and that is what I am going to mount um, the power port charge system to it very important wherever your power is in the skeeters we have a pervo switch that's off there is also individual breakers there are three up one of them is for up front the other two are for the power poles they're all breakers push the button throw them we want to make sure that we're disconnecting power to everything to keep you know if you make a mistake and you touch a wire that you're not supposed to um it won't let power go up so on the trolling motor side there's one there too all of those are thrown the other thing is making sure all of my units are off the boat because i don't want any power that's not supposed to be going up front so Got all that done. I'm ne my next step is going to be installing uh, the charge system right here. So let's open it up and uh, go from there. All right, guys, quick tip. Uh, before you get started, it's going to save you a lot of headache. And a Skeeter, the plug-in, the power for the four-bank charger that's in there that we're removing is ran to the side right here. So what I did is this three screws, I took it out here and in order to pull it through to remove that other four-bank charger, 
the quick tip guys and something you don't think about but i'm tying some nylon string to it that way when i pull it through i'll have a lead i'll tie the nylon string back on the power cord for the charge and i'll pull the power cord all the way back through to here that way my plug is coming out the same place for skeeter now whatever manufacturer boat you have some of them are in the back some of them are in the front that way you can keep the power cord there but it's, you would have quite the task trying to feed that power cord back here, but this is going to save you a lot of time to go ahead and do this. Nylon string is all you need. That way it's right there for you. All right, guys, we have the power pole charge installed on that metal plate. I had to pre-drill some holes in order to get that thing mounted in right. Um, I've got the Lithium Pros sat in there right now, but if you have a Skeeter, the trays will not hold these batteries. They're a little oversized, so... I have an oversized battery tray from TH Marine here that I'm going to replace for both of them. That way the batteries sit flush. Okay, so there are a few things you need to watch out for when you get to this point. Now, in a Skeeter and a Yamaha, you've actually got two power cables that are running on your trolling motor side from the motor and also on your 12 volt side. This is your alternator. So, you gotta be careful of this. What this is, is if you ever switch your pergo switch to number two, what that does, there's one, there's off, there's one, there's all, and there's two. One is normal operation. If you switch it to two, what that does is that, that disconnects the power from the 12 volt side from the motor in case something ever happened and it would use the 36 volt the trolling size, side in order to crank the motor. That's kind of a fail safe but the charge system is going to do that for us if we need it. So I am not going to connect those. So you're going to see on the 36 volt, your trolling motor side, you're going to see that there are two wires. Let me get to it here. Running from the motor. That's what that's for. I am not going to connect this simply because the charge system is going to do all of that for us and I can do it at the push of a button from an app. And I don't have to reach back here, turn a pergo switch, but it is there just in case you need it. But you have your two trolling motor cables that run to the front that's connected to that breaker that we've thrown that need to go on that battery. But there is also some on the 12 volt side that you need to pay attention to. There is one of these right here and they're all marked. There is one that says troll motor. That's the one that connects to the motor, runs all the way back for the failsafe. I am not going to connect that one either. I'm going to leave those disconnected because the charge system does all of that for me. And then there's also a cable that's unmarked that runs directly to the motor, which that's your alternator. And you want this to be on your 12 volt because that's what charges your, your battery while the big motor is running. So now that you have that set, and you have all your wires where you need to be, which we're about to connect them, but those are things you need to look for to make sure the correct wires are connected. And I'm not gonna worry about the fail safe, the one you put it onto to where it uses the 36 volt because the charge is gonna do that for me. So, the charge system. There are three main leads that come from that charge system. One, big black and red cable, that's gonna be for the 12 volt side. Two, you're going to have the one that has all the colors of the rainbow. That's going to be for your 36 volt side. So we're going to put that over here. And three is the power cord, which I already have over here. And remember, I told you guys, let me grab it, that I ran a string all the way through there, the power cord that's going to run all the way to the front to where my plug was. So that way I can just pull it straight through and that will be connected. So. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hook everything up based on the cheat sheet. Very important right here, guys. This little cheat sheet has two sides. One, if you're running a 24 volt um, power system, you have a 24 volt trolling motor, it shows you exactly the colors of the rainbow and where it needs to be. The other one, like what we're doing here, is a 36 volt system especially for lithiums. So it shows you all the colors of the rainbow are over on the 36 volt side and just the black and red one is on the 12 volt side. Very, very important guys. If you are running one single lithium battery, a 36 volt battery 
all the colors of the rainbow are connected to the positive side. The one black cable is on the negative side. If you are running three 12 volts to give you 36 in sequence, you can see where each cord needs to go in order to do that for your trolling side. 12 volt side does not change. Another very important aspect, if you are running two lithium batteries, two 36 volt lithium batteries together, paralleled, you are, it still thinks it is one single battery. So you would run a parallel, if you had two 36s right here, if I've run two 36s right here, I would run them in parallel. In parallel means running a lead from positive to positive, negative to negative. That turns it into one battery. The power pole charge, you want it to think that it is one single battery. You're just combining two. If you're combining two and you run them two in sequence, if you run them positive to negative, positive to negative, you're gonna be sending 72 volts to your trolling motor. It will be fried when you're done. Do not do that. If you're running two 36s, you run them in parallel, not in sequence. Unlo unlike when you're running three 12 volts to give you 36 volts, you run them in sequence, positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative. If you ran all of these parallel, positive to positive, positive to positive, and negative to negative, you would only still have only 12 volts. So guys, very, very, very important right there. So I am gonna run all the colors of the rainbow to the positive side and the black to the negative and the same thing on my 12 volt side so let's get that all set up and then we will go from there all right guys we are done we are down to the final steps of the chat power pole charge to lithium pros um i have the 12 volt everything i needed to connect it to it it's already mounted in the 36 i will mount it into a bigger plate like i said i just um, went to an oversized battery plate um, in order to fit these bigger batteries in there and I need to do the same thing to that one but I've got everything hooked up and we're about to check our math again we are a 36 volt system two single batteries and again if you are paralleling two 36 volts together to give you extra power or if you're putting two 12 volts together to give you extra power you are running them in parallel get a lead positive to positive negative to negative the power pole charge is still going to think it's one single battery very very important it does not if you're paralleling them to give you extra power you are not telling the power pole charge that it's two batteries it is only one so you would just simply add another 36 run a positive to positive negative to negative and leave it alone you always want the wires on the lead battery so very important make sure you do that and if you're running three 12 volts, you want to run them in sequence to give you 36 volts, not in parallel. That would be big problems. Okay, so let's check our math. So all the colors of the rainbow are going to the positive side of the terminal, which would be the red, blue, and yellow wire with only the black wire of this lead running to the negative part along with your trolling motor leads, main trolling motor leads as well. So the negative terminal would only have the negative of the trolling motor lead and the negative of the charge system on it. And then the positive terminal of your trolling battery will have yellow, blue, and red, and it will have your main power wire. Of course, breakers are all still thrown off. So as soon as we hooked up power, some lights started coming on here, so it's already picking them up and we're gonna configure that in a moment. You do not wanna plug them up to charge until you configure it on the app because you have to tell that what type of battery it is, whether it's lithium, AGM, or flooded cell, and you have to tell it how many amp hours each battery is. And if you're paralleling two, you have to tell it the combined. If you're paralleling two 36 volt trolling motor batteries and they're both 40 amp hours each, you need to tell the charge it's an 80 amp hour battery it thinks it's one again but this is a, this right here is a uh, a 65 amp hour trolling battery and we have a 215 amp hour cranking electronic battery so everything is plugged up the other terminal of course would be your main power cable and that's where the negative and positive from the power pole charge is running 
negative and positive, all the colors on the rainbow on this side, the power pole chart is already active. So next we are going to pull up the app. All right, guys, we're done. And it's time to download the app and configure these, ba these batteries correctly. This is where a lot of people go wrong. You have to tell the power pole charge exactly what batteries you're running and how many amp hours they have. Very important. Again, if you're paralleling two, you just simply combine the amp hours and still tell that it's one battery. And when, as, soon as, you, as soon as you pull up the app, it's going to notify, it's going to already pick up by Bluetooth the power pole charge and it's gonna have you pair it. And you'll see right there, as soon as you pair it, it's gonna give you 20 seconds. You just simply have to hold down the power pole, I meant the charge button in order for it to pair to your phone so it knows it's in your boat. And it's also gonna have you update any firmware that you need to as well. So now we're gonna go in and configure the batteries. The top left, you just press that. Battery configuration, we're gonna to go to the trolling motor battery. We're gonna make sure it says lithium, amp hours, we're gonna put 65 amp hours. That's how many amp hours the trolling motor battery has. Okay, so that's set. So now let's go down to the cranking battery. The cranking battery, same thing. Make sure it says lithium. How many amp hours? 215 amp hours. We're gonna put in 215. And then at the top right, make sure you hit the update button. If you don't hit the update button, it is not going to update what the changes you just made. So now that's done, you can go into the batteries. It'll tell you that your trolling motor battery, how many voltages, it how much voltage it has, and your cranking battery. So once that is connect correct, everything's connected right, now it's time to plug it in. Once you plug it into your main power cord, which I have here, you're gonna be able to see on the app that there is AC power coming into it, and it's going to tell you where it's sending it. So guys, I hope this helps. Guys, this power system has been the best by far I've ever run. Uh, fourth straight year I'm, I'm running this system and I can guarantee you this will give you longer hours on the water and uh, negate a lot of problems that may happen. You can always go into the app even when the big motor's cranked and you can see the amperage is going over to your trolling motor battery. It actually takes power from the cranking battery to keep the trolling motor battery charged at all times. And if for some reason something happens to your cranking battery, the little um, emergency start switch will, will light up and you'll be able to use it. You can switch it over and it actually take amperage from your trolling batteries in order to crank your big motor just in case something ever happens. But guys, power pole charge, you gotta get one. Lithium Pros, it's the one battery that you need. Um, and there's, there's, there's a reason why so many of us are choosing this system. It's because it's making us better anglers and it's keeping us on the water longer. But guys, thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions about what you just saw, please reach out to me, send me a PM. I'll try to answer them as best I can. But uh, tight lines and hope you guys catch them big this year.